Right, so we're at 20.1 pounds for one night of uh, food. Got a lot of water, it's hot out today. First time backpacking in two years. I'm kind of nervous. So I'm back on the trail. I'm on the Great River Trail. It's just a bike trail. It's very flat. I'm headed up to Pro State Park to stay the night. I've been backpacked in two years now. Had some family health issues last year, uh, but everything's cleared up. Life is good. Life is optimistic, but I have a new REI uh, flash 55 pack. I haven't used it. I've had it for two years. This is my first time out. So I started off at uh, Lytle's Landing in Onalaska, Wisconsin and going up to Pro State Park in Trempolo, Wisconsin. It's a bike route. I actually did a whole video on the Great River bike trail. If you look way, way over there, there's a big eagle's nest. And if I had a decent camera, I could um, get some pictures of it. Walked up here previously with binoculars, and you can actually see the eagles in there, or at least last year. Just about, I think, exactly four miles in. Feeling really good. Taking a break on this bench. Just drinking some water. I don't think I'm far from the uh, trailhead. Maybe a mile or two. But this is my view. We're currently at a native burial ground. We got a uh, tractor doing its field here too, so it's kind of noisy. There's also another one of these in downtown Trempolo. Well, you have to kind of walk up a bluff. They believe that six adults and one child are buried here. Made it to Trempolo, the Trempolo Trailhead. Got a little bench there, no picnic table, but then there is a restroom. This is gonna seem really weird, but this is one of my favorite things to bring when it's hot. And it's gonna be hot today. Well, it already is starting to get hot because it just kind of fills you up with salt and dill and um, yeah, so it's perfect. Kind of heavy, but perfect. Continuing on through Trempolo. Trempolo goes that way. There's a gas station and a restaurant and some other stuff down near the river, but this is the trail. This is where we're going. Gonna take a little break here. Made it to the park, well, the back park entrance. You can go through the woods there, um, but we are still gonna head this way because this is the way to the campground. Okay, made it to the cutoff of the park, just down here, so let's go. Made it to my campsite. This is really nice. I think I'm gonna put my tent right over there. Got my puffy jacket, which I don't think I will need, but just some, yeah, I'm going to get my tent set up. I'm pretty excited. Okay, so I got this little pump to blow up my air mattress. I know like these air mattresses say you can pump them up like, I mean, blow them up like in four blows, but seriously, I get dizzy most of the time. So I'm gonna try it out. Okay, to me, this is totally worth it. Um, I, it, yeah, it's noisy, but it's like for not even a minute, seriously. I did have to, like, uh, once I took it off, some of the air escaped, so I did have to, you know, 
put in three more puffs or so. But yeah, this is definitely a keeper and it has a little light on it too. Whoops. Oh, see a little light, a little light on it too. So since we live so close, my husband came to visit me. Hopefully he has some trail magic, AKA wine. <laughs> Get his new truck. It's pretty sweet. So my husband did bring me some wine. We sat around the fire for a little bit, enjoyed a couple of cocktails, and uh, he is headed home because he has to work tomorrow. So I am having a. I've never tried this before. It is butternut squash and black beans in mole. Oh god, that sounds really good. I always try to have like a chicken bouillon cube. I feel like the salt and stuff helps re regenerate yourself when you're hiking on such a hot day. Brushed my teeth, took a nice little shower. Now I'm all set, ready to go. I have a light on my camera super bright but anyhow it's about nine o'clock I'm in my tent um, took a shower I ate um, now I'm just gonna watch a movie on Netflix have a great night I will see you in the morning oh I did about ten and a quarter miles today so I'm pretty happy about that see you in the morning good morning it's uh, about 6 16 woke up around 5 um, I slept really well actually and I didn't, I wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. I, I'm concerned it might rain today and I forgot my rain gear. So hopefully it won't. The wind is kind of rustling a little, but hopefully it won't cause I don't have any rain gear cause I forgot it. But um, I'm gonna pack up and then uh, maybe once I get out of the woods, it will look a little bit clearer. <laughs> Seven o'clock, all packed up, ready to go. Took me about an hour, but I haven't eaten breakfast. Made it to the Rivertown Cafe, going in, having some breakfast and coffee. Little turtles out there. Nice little bench. Can take a little break. So I am about a little under three miles, I think, from the end. And boy, what beautiful weather and what a great mini backpacking trip I did. Just 10 miles each way, um, close to home. So if I got into trouble, I could uh, contact someone. I haven't backpacked in two years, but this is a great trail. It's flat, so I'm not sure how I will do on elevation, <laughs> but I think, you know, slow and steady. I'm in no rush, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.